Hello students. In our earlier lecture, we have discussed about Zumba Lahiri, an introduction to her life and to her major works. At the same time, when we are going to study the the concept that is Indian diaspora, Indian diaspora is a different type of diaspora. all the features that we see in the diaspora literature are reflected in chinese diaspora indian diaspora or asian or any kind of a diaspora there is some cognitive such a kind of a relations among them but when we think about the diaspora features we just need to think about what are the indian diaspora features and what are the chinese diaspora features it is for the students to decide and to come to a conclusion but before going into the indian diaspora we have a very fine and good or oh, renowned writers like jumpa lahiri and her works of uh, her works be as the stamp or be as the mark of diaspora literature her a famous book of story collection that is unaccustomed earth uh, gives us a very good example of the diaspora literature with all the diaspora features that we see the notes or the synopsis of the story has already been shared with you i hope you have gone through and along with the story you just need to listen to this video so that you come to a proper understanding of of the text or the story the plot of the story is as such the plot of the story is set in america city province where roma along with her husband adam and their son akash moved in adam has been in finance company while roma was in a law firm in new york after akash's birth she negotiated with the firm and spending thursdays and fridays at home when she has holiday after the date of ruma's mother Ru- uh, ruma's father is also spending time in visiting countries european countries ruma's father has just been uh, retired from a pharma company and divided his shares among his children romi and roma he had moved into a small room apartment where uh, which he think is sufficient for his own being he is engaged and busied himself in visiting countries he is now feeling mentally alone isolated he and roma talked every day over the phone but after roma moved to seattle the phone calls reduced to once in a week or mostly on sunday afternoon he used to write her letter her father was as planned in august to go to prague and spending his time roma asked her father to come and to live with her see an indian born daughter born to a indian couple the parents who who born and brought up in indian conditions but he is living in america working 
has worked in the pharma company and roma who is born and brought up in america in american culture she is willing that her father should come and stay with her but it's a condition that is very difficult to go to go down in the father's mind roma repeatedly asked her father to come and to live with her but he didn't like roma discussed with her husband adam that what he thinks about if her father comes and stay with them he wished her father to live with with her she thought her father needs her in the old age he is feeling isolated he is feeling alienated so it is in the old age that she should render her care to her father but a dam would hardly talk of roma's care roma had akash to care for and roma is also again pregnant for the second time adam wasn't interested to have her father with them her father prepared his uh, prepares his own food for himself and lives alone romi the son had moved to new zealand and as a part of a crew of a german documentary Ruma felt guilty that she could not support him in the old age after the death of her mother as it is in indian ethos and tradition to care for the parents ruma was in dilemma that adam could not understand although adam is deeply has deeply loved her adam hadn't traveled across america once roma had taken a dam to kolkata he remembered the journey by plane the tree its epic trip to india it often worries a dam to pack lots of luggage and to carry to plane on by bus as the children grows up less becomes the travel a dam's travel to india through snow white cloud was a real life to him he doesn't uh, have any family responsibility to care for indian tour had been in fact of life for indians in america but for miss but for mrs bakshi it was different she had married a childhood friend mrs minakshi bakshi mrs minakshi bakshi married after 2 years and her husband died in a scooter accident she returned back to america she did her doctorate in statistics and taught in stony brook university she had gone to calcutta only for her parents funerals on a tour to break ruma's father and mrs minakshi bakshi both of them met they traveled together mrs bakshi was relaxed since both were speaking bengali language and was very familiar beyond italy mrs bakshi to board on another plane but he check emails five to six times a day both had promised to meet in prank she was few years younger to him mrs bakshi met them for the first time in amsterdam ruma had received of her father's coming to her ruma offered to take her car but he preferred taxi 
her father come with bags and luggage roma just worried over his father he appeared for her as a perfect american even in his old age powerful and sturdy pulling his luggage and bags across the garden he wo- he walked to roma's home he rarely speak bengali roma's mother when all lived together sp- spoke bengali she insisted on it roma's bengalis are slow sleeping she could not speak bengali she insisted on Mr. Akash, as Akash is growing, now three years old, he has adopted more English than Bengali. It becomes now to find words in Bengali for English word game. Roma only speaks when she receives Bengali for English. From Calcutta, from her aunt or uncle, Happy Vijaya, Happy Birthday. Her father walked to her house calling Akash. He removed sneakers, shoes off, sneakers and shoes off. Ruma insisted him to come into the living room. Her father called Akash, but Akash hid in her mother's legs. Ruma showed him the whole rooms. She was very fascinated. She was very much happy that her father is happy. is with her come to stay with her it was bigger than the old one this house belongs is older than is bigger than old one they moved in seattle and it's far from airport the back of the house was olympian mountain that was irresistible she showed him downstairs the guest room Her father always suggested her close of garden helped her when they moved in the past. She took her father upstairs. But outside the kitchen, he noticed the dying plants. As for kettle, he watered the kettle. The delphiniums, Roma, even don't know the name of the plant. She listened to the water. Roma's mother had died when Akash was just one year old. See, she needed sweeter for Akash, but they are smaller now. Her mother had left 200 saris to Roma. Roma liked the pines and skirts. She distributed the saris among her friends and kept three to recall her mother. Mother's memories. So, she kept the three saris with her. Roma had fond memory of swinging Akash in her hands. Holding Akash as a baby in her kaftan in the mornings. Her father went downstairs, unpacked his suitcase. He brought the gifts from his travel plans. Akash, Roma and Adam both All of them were gifted. The mother was very beautiful, who always went her at visiting places, but says no more. The new room, the porch, has enough space than the old one. Roma entirely narrated and talked about her new home with her father. Roma served him tea in the porch, things brought from Dajli. Akash was playing with uh, the gifted and wooden plane, marble box for paper clips. He never mentioned Mrs. Bakchi. He never intended to upset Romy and Roma, having an affair at this age. Roma and her mother had wandered fewer places in Europe. Calcutta was her favorite. Roma was and her mother planned on 64th birthday to visit to Italy. Roma had birthday gift for her. 
she had planned a dam at home and would take Akash to in-law's house in Martha's vineyard. Ruma had sent her mother some fresh and more oh, tips to learn French. She had prepared her gallstone operation scheduled but she could not she could manage with uh, four weeks enough to recover but during Sir John's operation the mother responded adversely and her body could not recover she died in the operation Adam and Ruma were very much distressed Romy too came from uh, New Zealand for the funeral with one of his colleagues Romy had once plans to go to with his wife, but Ruma cancelled the tour. It was hospital where Romy was admitted, and Ruma had candy stripper. Ruma asked her father about his Italy's tour, relaxing in the room. Ruma knew her father smoked cigarettes, adopted from India. But he worried. Rumas, but Ruma asked him to know what he ate in Italy. He ate mostly pizzas, spent three weeks with the group and Mrs. Bakshi. There had been a measurement of eating elaborate lunches, as was in the custom in India. Ruma prepared food for her father. Who might be hungry? Her father was tired making his own and oh, is having a labor. Ruma recalled what her mother told her, her role as mother and wife. Ruma's cooking didn't come close to his wife's talent, but he told her appreciating delicious Indian food that Ruma had prepared. Ruma ate food with her fingers as her father as her father was eating. Ruma recalled her mother told about none of the two were talking as it was her mother it was her mother told Akash won't want to eat with fingers but Ruma didn't taught him. Ruma and her father talked very few words, never asked about her pregnancy, her mother would have. Ruma talked of pleasantness and of Indian food. Da. To her father's words, looking into plate, Akash really taught it. Akash was imperious, growing like an American way. Ruma, after the dinner, was with Akash. Her father had cleaned the dishes and plates. He, he told it make him better to digest. He had come with cordless phone. Adam was speaking from the other end. Adam asked about his health. Ruma asked about Adam and his dinner. He was in his hotel room. Ruma told him that she can't imagine her father staying with her. But he was her father. Ruma need to decide. She hang up the phone. Ruma saw a framed photo of marriage of Ruma and Adam. Ruma and Adam's marriage wasn't easy one. Ruma was a law student. And he, getting his MBA, kept Ruma kept the secret about her American friends. Adam's parents lived in Lincoln, Massachusetts. Until she announced that she is engaged, her mother so many times told her she, Ruma's mother, had objected to Ruma's love relations. She cannot accept Ruma's affair. But after Romy moved abroad with less contact, her mother accepted Adam.
in place of roaming then she took bengali atoms to a dam soon after akash's birth her mother's life become harmonious making her grandmother ruma felt her mother's words and heed but her mother had died distance was definitely infinite after her mother's death he after the plates had uh, after the plates are rinsed washed off left her was put in the refrigerator he saw saucy pan wobby took knife to fit in went then he looked into akash's room roma and akash both of them were asleep roma had a gray hair about dimples dimple like her mother identical shape he cannot sleep he took few guide books and papers to read from his bed he took a flight he remembered how he lived with his wife in a small room in new jersey where romi and romi were born there was children there his children grew it was an apartment on 14th floor he had grown independently he never depended on rumi rumi had chosen her own way ruma had gone ahead and married american boy a dam he had no idea of ruma would extend her support in his old age he wished his children to know how he cared his father and mother they were in 80s when roma and romi were younger but they moved to his brother in india how pers- how parentages are supported in indian way mrs bakchi was also of the way she also paved her way paved her own way roma's father had after retirement took a job work for a democratic party in pennsylvania it was enough to keep him occupied and spend his for touring he was engaged in his old home usually attending phone calls at the bait side he was tired his words in guide books lifting he had dialed to listen to call he had given mrs bakchi his daughter's phone number in an email he knew about his life without wife his death playing on his mind he was away when his wife died he was in hotel which was which not caused him guilty he was quite away from death violence as in india when the relatives died roma and romi went as younger seems to him her father wake him in the morning wake up in the morning roma was still in bed akash woke up and gone into the bush to see the turtle roma listened to him When she moved to the kitchen, she saw her father and Akash have written weight with water. Akash wished to touch the turtle and, show, and shot him in a video. She prepared breakfast with her father's help. After she ate breakfast, she suggested her father about pleasant places to Sin Sito with his video camera. but he want to rest or vacation from vacations he has enough toes it was weekly practice of swimming for akash he also joined them roma had only few friends here developed through the mummy mummy group sorry who lives in 
Midas distance. Her friends she left in Brooklyn. Roma was seldom interested in rep- to reply to their emails. When Roma drew her car, he was watching speedometer and driving. Roma shot him Adam's workplace, stopped to shop. He asked her about any job in New Plus. Roma did just the part-time job. She had time frame for five years with two kids at home as her mother did. Talking on the road wasn't just. Roma always differed from his father and any remark would chip away already the turned relations. Roma remembered the decision she took on her own and had offended him. She had offended her father. Pulling her car into parking, Roma got Akash into changing room. But sat on benches by window, her father shoot Akash's swimming class continuously. He didn't when Roma was a kid. In the car on the way home, her father brought issue of career. Self-reliance is important for him. She is dependent on a dam. Tomorrow, none know what happened. After reaching home, he talked and showed Akash his video, his Italian tour. The main frescoes, churches, best towers. He didn't wish Mrs. Bakchi to come on screen. He befriended 16 to 18 friends. Mrs. Bakchi was another Indian whom Muruma inquired. It was difficult to tell his daughter about his girlfriend. Now could be. He was thinking about what his wife Roma is now like her mother, living alone in one plus, alone caring her child. Roma has worked, educated, chose her own way of life. In India, this behavior would not be accepted. Akash, next day, woke up. His grandfather was nowhere seen. He told Roma her father away. She searched the entire house in the morning. Roma was serious, looking for a luggage, the rental car. She wanted dial to a dam to ask, but the tires come halting with boxes. Her father had gone to a drive to bring the saplings and pastries. There is something that can grow that can grow in the garden and make her house beautiful. Roma want him to rest. Her father felt note on the bureau. But Akash isn't tall to pick up. Roma was too hasty. When nursery opened, Roma first time sent Akash with her father. Roma was worried. When they returned, they came with shovel, hose, black earth and flowers. He wore a damn old shirt to work in the garden with Akash beside him. Next morning, he again went to nursery. He brought more moss, mulch, composed manure, a pool of water and a crocodile. Akash kept all day outside searching worms. Roma got more time. Piles, paperwork, her life with the dam generated. She sorted out the sizes of clothes, maternity clothes she will require. Roma ordered toys, books in a corner. Akash returned to her room with dirt. He was, had, he was planting. Her father had made him a small pot. Plot, sorry. Her father taught Akash planting seeds and beat up Bengali words. When he was having bath, Roma has prepared tea for him. 
both took tea in the porch. Sitting in the evening, he liked this new blouse. Akash was tired by day's work out and asleep. Bruma left to think. He wished to sleep in the porch. He would like this porch on the other side when no, when the breeze blows out. Looking at like his worst remind Roma of her mother. Her mother had narrated Roma to Smith and bone of her father. Akash to meat and bone of Roma. Roma visualized the whole house in her mind. Roma want to see his apartment. But he want her not to travel just to see the apartment. That night, Roma told the dam about her father's planting flowers in the backyard. Both discussed about who will care them after her father departs. Both discussed about his tank. She prepared her food and her father cleaned dishes. Akash was mostly busy with her father, turning pages for him of a book, sleeping Akash. His efforts touched her. She was envious of her own son, as Akash was most of time with her father. The garden was coming on nicely. Ruma's father knew that his son-in-law won't care. But he planted flowers, vegetables in the backyard. It reminds him his old house, his wife, his children grown up. He looked Akash's plot. Akash was curiously to know when the garden grows up from the lake. Akash recited numbers in Bengali the father had taught him. That night Akash had fallen asleep. He took to write postcard to write Mrs. Bakche. It was easier to send email, but he chose postcard to Mrs. Bakche. He wrote about planting, about Akash, and finished the letter. But he need to post it. He felt Roma shouldn't read it. He don't have safe plus to hide the postcard. Roma's father wrote in Bengali, so Roma could not decipher. The writing. He put the letter in the guidebook and in the table drawer. He felt Akash beside him asleep. His face like his own children. He imagines him as grown up, turns his back to parents like Ruma did. He did years when he left India for accomplishments and ambition. He cooled off in the darkness of light. The Saturday come. Her father is about to leave before leaving. He showed her what his garden sprouts of certain distance. Akash's plot, what care at tomatoes and let not touch the ground. Went to water and prodding. Ruma felt his need to stay. But he felt that he he should not be a burden, a person of few. Roma wished him to stay with her. But he would be flying to Pennsylvania and then to break with Mrs. Bakche. Akash was only temptation for him. He was still alive to remind him his wife, wiping urine from the floor. Roma's age. The children were is Bengali. Now Ruma Zakash is half Bengali with them. He had biological connection. Akash reminded him of his own children. He never admitted him. Ruma was protected by him in her life. He wanted to protect her inevitable of the, her marriage. The old man was behaving like a child. Her father felt that he must leave. Her father left early in the morning. That night they have been out, dine out. But he woke up early in the morning, have a tea. He had enjoyed the week. 
Puma too felt her father's company. Akash had special days. All hardware nursery he bought in the week were under the porch of her. He was hopeful of hope, good garden. Akash was asleep. He bade goodbye to Roma, took stamps of bills to post the bus card on the way Akash was coming that night. He promised to Roma about details of flight. Details of flight. Akash woke up, asked for Tadu, but he had already left. She so took him to the garden for comfort. She in the garden saw the postcard. Roma asked about it. Akash said it is his. Roma read this to Mrs. Minakshi Bakhtin Bengali. She could not understand, but few sentences shocked her. That is, her spirit was pleasant, not staying in Seattle and caring for Akash. He that night kept his search the magazine. That morning could not get. He could miss flame. So he gave up with no use of stamps to post it. She took Akash inside, walked, whipped, wiped her tear. His tears. Her impulse was to share a shred postcard, but she avoided him. There is no way. Her father didn't love her mother to turn another woman. He loved Ruma's mother deeply and remember her. Ruma went into the garden where the green red sprouts come. Ruma came to draw the stamp bell rolls to fix it to the mailer to take away. Like this we have the very sad and touching end to this story that is unaccustomed earth. I hope you might understand some of it. Thank you.